are you guys this afternoon? Hope you guys are having a great day. And I wanted to come on here and do a little Reiki, some afternoon relaxation. If you guys are new here, my name is Molly with Sunflower Soul Healing, and I will be doing Reiki today. Reiki helps to balance our mind, body, and spirit. All you have to do is just open your heart, receive. Uh, you can set an intention if you like. So anything that you are needing help with, whether that's mental, emotional, physical, you can go ahead and set that intention because Reiki does work on our intention, always for our highest good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. If we can go ahead and just take a couple of deep breaths in through our nose. Exhale. Let's take another deep breath in. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Right. I'm just going to start moving our energy. With Reiki, you can close your eyes, you can watch me. Thank you. Just try and relax your brow, your jaw, your shoulders. Any tension you feel in your body, just try and relax. moving, shifting, any heaviness, stress, anxiety. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just allow the energy to flow. Yay, it's October. I feel it. My, I am so cold in my office today. I'm so cold. I can't warm up. <laughs> but yes, I love fall. It's my favorite season. bring in my Tibetan prayer bells. <laughs> and 
and a little tuning fork. Remember just to breathe. You can even visualize when you take in that breath and exhale, just imagine all heaviness, anything that no longer serves you, anything that you don't wanna hold on to, just imagine it leaving your body. Moving all that energy from the top of our head all the way down. Through your legs, the soles of your feet. Just visualize a beautiful waterfall flowing in through your crown, moving down your body, clearing, cleansing. And just allow that energy to flow through your legs, to your feet, to the soles of your feet. And just imagine all of that going into Mother Earth. Let her transmute it with her Earth energy. feeling heavy on your heart, your chest, just let all of that go. The anxiety or stress, worry. Beautiful light, love, healing. Let's start on our chakras. We're gonna start at our root chakra. Thank you. The base of our spine, 
beautiful red in color. You can even visualize that if you want. Ruby red energy. Earth energy. Helping us feel grounded, balanced, stable, anchored, safe, protected. Moving all that energy, all those thoughts out of our head space, down, 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 down. Helping with any worry about financial, job, home, if you're moving. Just allow all that energy to flow from your hips all the way down your legs, back your legs, to your feet, and to the ground. Any lower back pain, hip pain, sciatica, Gonna do a little smoky quartz for our root chakra, helping us to ground. Feel in our body. Again, if you are new here, my name is Molly with Sunflower Soul Healing. I'm just doing Reiki, which is a Japanese healing modality, helping to balance your mind, body, and spirit, helping to de-stress, um, relax your nervous system. All you have to do is receive. I'm gonna do, <clears throat> I'm just doing my beautiful bowl for each one, for, so for the root, then we'll move up to the sacral. Sacral chakra, 
right below the navel, orange in color. The element is water, where we hold a lot of emotions, helping with any reproductive issues. Hormones, lower back. The sacral is all about creativity. The womb, what are you birthing? What's something new that you want to bring into your life? Create. All about joy. from the top of your head down your body releasing through those lower chakras down your legs to your feet to the soles and into the earth Reiki, you might feel tingling, you might just feel relaxed or calm. Tuning for five twenty eight, the miracle frequency. Carnelian for our sacral, beautiful orange color. Again, our sacral is all about creativity, the divine feminine, water, energy, joy, abundance, um, yeah, the pleasures in life. Letting go of all guilt or those heavy feelings, guilt, shame, anything like that. Just let all that go. Beautiful. Let's do our bowl for the sacral. I'm going to move up to our solar plexus, yellow 
feel like I'm a big ball of my solar plexus today. I don't know why I have a yellow blanket on. I have yellow. <laughs> Just, ah, beautiful yellow energy, sun energy, fire energy. <sighs> Helping with our confidence, our self-worth, determination. Any digestive issues. Worry, anger, we hold a lot of that in our belly. In our gut. Our stomach, our gut has a lot to do with our emotional well-being, our mental health. So you want to keep that nice and balanced. It is the I am. Everything that you feel, you know, I am powerful, I am strong, I am determined. That's a nice, healthy solar plexus, I am worthy. Let's remove any energetic cords that might be attached to others that make us feel maybe where we didn't feel as powerful. Maybe that was a relationship, a toxic relationship or work environment. where we didn't feel within our power. You can just visualize that beautiful sun warmth to some polychrome jasper for our solar plexus. Confidence, joy. Standing in our power. You are worthy. Ooh, 
thank you. Yes, fire energy. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that. <laughs> Element is fire, fire energy. Igniting that fire, that passion, that determination, confidence within ourselves. So we want a nice, healthy, bright solar plexus. Yeah. All right. important to drink water and I have my water it's water it's seltzer water but it is water plain <laughs> I just like the bubbly can't help it just can't help it you know mm. what you gonna do all right let's move up to our heart chakra beautiful green in color just open up that heart Relax those shoulders to receive. And um, if you are new here, I will repost, I repost all my lives to um, YouTube. So if you don't get to watch all of it or if you have to leave, um, I will put it there mm -hmm. and you can watch it at your convenience. All my others are on there. So if you go to my bio, you can follow my YouTube link is in my bio also on Instagram if you're on Instagram I will always repost these all right so let's open up our heart chakra green energy Let's first just like, oof, any stress, any heaviness, all in this area, any anxiety. Let's shift that energy. Just move it away. Don't have to hold on to that. Thank you. Oh, that's really pretty. I haven't seen that one.
peace, serenity, calm. Just let your mind kind of drift. Maybe just for a moment, you just don't think about anything. Just allow that energy to flow down. Do a little green opal for our heart. So having self-love, loving ourselves, we can be our worst critic. It's important to speak to yourself kindly. I don't think we always do that, you know? do our bowl just allow that sound just to enter Just a little bit of selenite, a little liquid light. light. All right, we're gonna move up to our throat. So all of this up here, throat, moving up to the ears, even like here on your shoulders, high heart, beautiful ocean blue color. And um, I do one-on-one, uh, -on -one, so if you like this and if you're interested, 
I do one-on-ones and the, my link is in my bio, so all my information is there. So just relax your jaw, okay, relax. Do your ears hear? Think of all that we hear each and every day at work or at home, if you're a mom or a dad. Or maybe if you've heard unkind things, let's release all of that. expressed yourself or maybe holding on to things, your feelings can get blocked, gets that lump in our throat and then we feel it here. Sore throat, if you have a sore throat. The throat can also get feel blocked or heaviness too if you actually do express yourself, but it's not really received well or maybe doesn't feel safe to do so. Maybe you're shy. Back and neck, any neck pain shoulder pain. If you feel like you've been carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, like a big boulder, just release that. Thank you for being here this Monday afternoon. You can even visualize like ocean waves just clearing all of that out. Speak your truth even if your voice shakes. Your words matter and are important and are powerful. couple for the throat because I feel like we need that today. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. All right. This gorgeous beauty, Blue Appetite. So you can just think of that. Oh, look how beautiful that is. 
Our throat chakra just opening, balancing, speaking our truth, speaking our truth from our heart. Powerful words, your voice matters, needs to be heard. Yes, yes, and yes. I'm gonna do a little bit, oof. This gorgeous lapis as well. Oh, that is so beautiful. sound so beautiful I love well I love you obviously if you guys follow me you know I love my bowls my tuning forks my bells I I love that sound frequency energy um, it really helps to shift and change things within our energy quickly all right so we are gonna move up to third eye helping with our intuition, um, calming our mind, helping us get out of our head where we, we can listen and trust ourselves, listen to our higher self. I'm gonna do a little, oh, I have a new, I have a new incense, spiritual awakening. Incense, I meant um, <laughs> uh, essential oil, essential oil. <laughs> I do love incense, of course, too, but at work I can't burn that, so. All right. So I want you just to really just relax that brow. Just allow your eyes just to kind of thank you. Kind of just drift. I don't want you holding any pressure there. Just. tension and energy within our brow, our forehead. Just allow that to flow down. to flow from the top of our head down, 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 down. Helping with any headache, migraine, any tension, headache, eye pain, PMJ, ears too. Clearing your mind, any stress, anxiety, worry. You can visualize a beautiful indigo color like the night sky filled with a million stars. Oh, 
helping us to trust in ourselves. You always know best. You just have to trust yourself. You know yourself better than anybody else. Allow that anxiety if it feels like it's going down and then in your chest. Just try and release that. Let it flow all the way down. your eyes. If you have a lot of anxiety, because I'm feeling a lot of anxiety <laughs> in my body, a spot you can hold is right here where your pinky goes down. You feel like a bone. You can hold it there, kind of press into there. And breathe. You can do it to the other side. It's like that where that little bone is. So you could hold it this way. I like to take my two fingers and kind of dig in there, not too hard. all anxiety off your chest. All worry, all stress. You can just say, I am at peace, I am calm, I am balanced. trust within myself. I easily hear my higher self, my intuition. Do. Let's see if we can see any color in this one today. Any reflection. Ooh, a little. 
It says labdarite. Given as a gift. All right. We are going to move up to our crown. Beautiful purple color. Um, oh, I'm gonna get my favorite crystal that I think represents, well, it's, it's, I feel like it's like what I feel Reiki energy looks like that just, here, hold on. visual for when my eyes are closed and I'm just that Reiki energy, that light. I'll say it sometimes like a, a waterfall of light. This is what I visualize. Just beautiful, pure, radiant, just sparkly spectrum of love. <laughs> Let me have a sip and then I'm going to do our our crown. So our crown, opening up our crown chakra, helping us to connect with source, all that is, knowing that we are all connected, me to you, to the flowers, to the trees, to the earth. We are all one. Helping us not feel so alone. When we are connected, we can feel that energy that we are so much more than just this body. All right, so crown. And again, if you're new here um, or just hopped on, um, I will repost this today, probably tonight on YouTube. So um, if you don't follow me on YouTube, you can do that. A link is in my bio. All my information is there. Um, if you want to book a session, I do one-on-ones. Just remember, I will never reach out to you. There are so many fake accounts, so many um, imposters. So just know that. You just have to book through my website if you would like to work with me. But I'd love to. Just know I won't reach out. All right. Crown. light, washing away all that no longer serves you. For your highest good, always.
And if I got you to close your eyes just for 30 seconds, I say that's a win. <laughs> go to uh, the back of the head back here um, so if you're having like a headache back in this part or back of the head pain You can notice where you feel it in your body. So like, do you notice, you know, that you're really, you hold a lot of tension in certain places, you know, whether it's your shoulders when you try and start to relax. Do you feel that energy more, like more tingling in certain parts? Um, you may not, and that's okay. You know, you may just feel relaxed or you may just like to watch and you don't really know why and that's okay. Reiki just really helps to, when we're in that constant go, 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 we don't even realize like that it's kind of like this like fight or flight, like feeling it, we're so, and it just helps to like unwind that like ball of tension. You can watch this at night before you go to bed. Fast forward to, you know, places that you are drawn to. I'm going to do another nighttime one, I think, where it's dark and I just, I don't talk at all. I've done one or two of those, but. That's so that's a weird thing. Um, if I'm releasing something, um, I know that sounds that probably sounds like, yeah, I normally can control it, but I will burp. It is the worst. So if like anyone who's ever come to see me, I always warn them, but normally it's not like that. That was like out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, now you know. There you go. <laughs> oh. All right, let's do a little, um, what do I want to do? Mm. Oh, I'm going to do mine for the crown. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. Let's do a little selenite. Selenite is great. High vibrational, cleansing, clearing, protective, 
Amazing. I like to just like lay it on me. Or I'll do the same thing. I'll go through my energy field, my aura like that, just like what I'm doing to you guys. Five twenty eight miracle frequency. going to seal up each one of those chakras, the energy, and then I might just stay on a little longer and do just some relaxation. sip of water, drink lots of water, get outside if it's beautiful, even if it is a little chilly. The trees are starting to change color here, which, oh, I love, I love all the colors. And then a little lavender. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna just kinda Just do a little more, just relaxation. One thing I don't have is a fireplace. Oh, I do have a fireplace, but it's, it's the, it doesn't work. Oh gosh, I love fires. Oh, I love like, you know, oh. So one thing, my old house had a really big fireplace, wood burning. Oh, that's, a, that's the one thing I wish I had. And I love walking outside. You know, it's fall, and someone has someone has like a fire pit, or oh, that that smell, that beautiful wood burning smell. I love that. That was really pretty. I have not seen that one. Thank you. That was really beautiful. 
I went um, on this retreat and we did this mandala made. I did a TikTok on it all on beautiful fresh flowers and, and vegetables. And oh, it was so neat. The colors were so vibrant and just we used lentils and cabbage and carrots and beets and um, yeah, all sorts of beautiful things. Some flowers even. I'm wanting to just oh, pull off the chest. Thank you. I appreciate you all being here uh, with me. Thanks for all the gifts and the shares and the likes. Appreciate it. All the follows. Does anybody get a seasonal? Uh, sometimes people get seasonal depression or they're, you know, maybe more emotional during when the shift of change of seasons. front so I'm, I'm gonna focus again um, here on the heart but then also back right like you're like right there going extra long today because I spend just a bit
and I will repost this probably tonight. It'll be on YouTube either tonight or tomorrow. Probably tonight. Feeling a sip of water here. Yay, thank you. And if you are new here, <laughs> I've been on for a while. I am Molly with Sunflower Soul Healing, and I am doing Reiki. If you're wondering what the heck are you doing, <laughs> all you have to do is receive, help to de stress, relax, balance. for everything is in my bio, everything, in the link tree. Turn on some comments so if you guys have any questions you can ask me and again I will I will put this up um, so if you missed it or if you missed the beginning where I did the chakra balancing it's all it's all on there um, so uh, it'll be on YouTube so you can watch it there These comments go super fast. So, um, oh, I was gonna turn that down. I'm gonna turn this down. Um, so I don't sometimes see all of them. Um, so anyways, or if you guys have questions about any of the crystals that I used, thank you. These earrings, you know, I, um, I need to figure out because, um, I got them on Instagram. <laughs> she creates, they're wooden. Um, so I love them and I need to go back and get her name. <laughs> Cause I was like, ah, um, yeah. It's the first time I've worn them. She, yeah. She makes everything herself. What crystal for the crown, um, for the crown. Um, this is, this is, um, aura amethyst so it is uh heat treated heat treated or they it you know to kind of give it this 
kind of, it almost looks like a mermaid tail or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It's called an aura amethyst. So it's just, it's so beautiful. Um, is there a book for crystals you recommend? Yes. Um, I have it. It's like, um, I have it. It's like a really big, thick, book uh off the top of my head do i have it here no i don't i have it at home it's i have it listed actually on uh in the amazon storefront page um it's a book that i really like and off the top of my head i can't think of i can't remember if it's crystal bible or which one it is i'm, I'm not for sure but it's it's on there that's the one that i use it's it has a lot of great information <clears throat> uh at, um, i have it in the amazon so you could at least get the name of it Thank you so much. Well, thanks for being here. And um, especially if you're um, new, um, thanks um, and welcome. And I try and do this once a week. I, I, use, I always get one in a week, um, but I, I try and get uh, two. So one to two times a week. And I just kind of um, go like, I, I only come on when I'm really like feeling it and in high vibration and everything. So I just kind of come on when I, I can. And so I don't have like a set time. So that's why I always say like I will post it on the YouTube and then you can, you know, watch it whenever you want. Um, oh, well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Um, the book. Oh for the book name. I know, I'm sorry, I don't, but it is, if you go look on there, it'll be on there, on the, on the Amazon uh, page. Um, for lack of energy, yeah, so if you have, are you talking about for like crystals or are you talking just what to do? Um, if you're just feeling like, bleh, kind of like, I guess, like sluggish maybe. Um, yeah, so you kind of need a little bit, maybe you've been working too hard. Um, you're kind of running out of that fire energy, right? Um, so I think really nurturing yourself, um, being kind to yourself. But I feel like that fire energy, like you need to find that joy, that passion, that anything that kind of gives you that spark, you know? Um, crystal wise. Um, you could do um, pyrite would be really good because um, mm, pyrite has a lot of fire energy in it. Um, polychrome jasper, let's see. Um, I really like um, hematoid quartz, or they might even call this fire quartz. Um, let's see. Um, Polychrome Jasper is really good of like kind of bringing like joy and happiness kind of into into your your being. But honestly, like go like go into a crystal store, walk around, look what you're drawn to, pick it up, and you're like, oh, I like this. This feels really good. That one is for you. You know, I mean, you listen to you and what your body wants. It's just like foods, you know. Um, yeah, you don't understand. Oh, you're French. And you don't understand English, does it? Oh yeah, it's still it Reiki energy. It's you know it yeah. It doesn't matter with me talking or my voice. I'm just kind of you know just explaining some things. Um, so yeah. Please tell me the crystals that I keep for my health. I got time. Oh, throat issues. You have throat issues. So you know one way that you can kind of if you're not really for sure and you're feeling overwhelmed you know you can look our throat chakra is a beautiful blue color so for the throat you could look for for blue crystals that's that's one way you could do it so for instance i use blue appetite and then um, you could do um, lapis lapis is also good for the third eye or the throat um, turquoise uh and um i always say it wrong i want to say amsonite but that's not right it's like amsonianite Amz amsonite amsonianite 
I have, oh, but yeah, that would be good for the throat. Uh, blue kyanite would be good for the throat. That also balances like all of your chakras, good for your energetic um, energy, um, your aura. Um, thank you. My bracelet is new. I got this at the, um, when I went to the yoga uh, uh, retreat, which was really neat. And this has that Amazonianite, or I don't, I still don't think. It. And then another new crystal on there that I don't have, and I'm gonna have to try and remember. I can't think off the top of my head what it is, but it's really beautiful. How often should someone do Reiki? So like, well, you know, it, 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 de it depends. So in person, like if you're going to go, you know, see somebody, um, in person and have a full session, you know, I always tell, I always say, listen to your body, see how you feel, check in with yourself. But, um, you know, if you have a lot of heaviness or you're really going through a lot and you need a lot of support, if it's in person, I would say, you know, you could come back in two weeks. A lot of times I will tell my people that see me in person, um, you know, a month you know, three weeks a month, let the energy shift and move. If you're on here and, and you're watching videos or you're doing lives, it's it's a different it's a different type of energy. So, um, you know, that, that that doesn't matter. You can kind of watch watch the videos, you can watch the lives. Um, that that part doesn't matter. But in person, yeah. You know. Uh, let's see. Or if you do like also a distance, like a distance session specifically for you, if that makes sense. Because it's a different energy. What crystals help with the lung and heart health? Um, I would have to like be, I would have to actually probably look that up specific for heart health or lungs. Because off the top of my head, I don't know like the actual physical, but if I'm just looking at the heart chakra, um, you could do like uh, the green opal. You could do uh, green um, calcite. You could do fluorite, rainbow fluorite, um, rose quartz. What else? night but I would have to look you know I'm sure there are some that are like specific to the actual more organ than you know the chakra center so rose quartz do you you don't know what rose quartz is uh let's see I have a huge chunk <laughs> this is my rose quartz so yes very this is a this is a big boy so or a big girl i don't know <laughs> rose quartz beautiful pink color so great for your heart chakra um do you keep the crystals in home or room or purse you can do with crystals whatever you feel called to do there is really no right or wrong way so I have some that I keep in my house that are like my special ones that, you know, I love just helps to kind of raise the vibration of the room. Um, I sometimes will wear a bracelet, you know, or I'll carry them in my pocket or place them somewhere if I'm really needing an extra like mm for just kind of feeling whatever. Um, you can have them in your workspace. There's ones that are good around like a... Hematite is great to have by your computer, um, electronics, because it helps with the um, EMFs and that type of protection, um, grounding. What stone? Oh gosh, tongue cancer, I don't know. I, I'm not on, on some of those specifics, um, but I will tell you, Google is really, really good. So if you have a specific, you know, just put in there. Um, what crystal would be good for blah 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 and it'll it'll give you a, a list of things so um, I mean there's so many and there's so many different things um, 
rose quartz, Buddha. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, rose quartz. If it's by your bed, there are some, you know, that I would say, ooh, right next to your bed, you know, if there may be a more energizing um, crystal, you may not want to. Like, um, rose quartz is soft and gentle um, and soothing, so, so that is fine. Um, let's see, amethyst, of course, would be really good by uh, your bed because that's calming, soothing. Um, lepidolite uh, is, is a very calming, soothing. I think sodalite is one of the best for sleep. And gosh, I don't know. I had a really huge soda light now that I think of it and I don't know where it is I'll have to look for that one um bye Russ thank you you have a good day too um okay let's see anything else by the bed I'm trying to think oh uh how light would be good too you have rose quartz is it protective um I mean there are more protective stones, but I mean, it's a beautiful stone. I mean, if you want like black tourmaline is a great protective stone. Um, uh, hematite is good. I'm looking around. Kyanite, black kyanite, uh, uh, black obsidian. Um, if you're wanting like a really like protective, those, those would be kind of, yeah, so. Um, rose quartz is great for love. Rose quartz is great for your heart chakra, for your heart, for compassion, for self-love, for forgiveness, uh, anything, uh, sadness, grief. It's nurturing. It's gentle. It's feminine. It's beautiful, but very, very, very high vibrational. So, yeah. I don't have any aquamarine. I wish, yeah, I don't have any. But yeah, that would be great for your throat chakra. So anxiety, pitolite, um, lipidolite, uh, uh, howlite, amethyst. Um, those are some. Yes, I do have black, black tourmaline. This is my big, huge, I love black tourmaline. It's very, very grounding. Gets you out of your head, pulls your energy down pretty quick. Uh, great for grounding, protective, absorbing kind of the gunky stuff. Walking in its new, have you ever found a stone just out walking? Oh gosh, I have not. Man, that would be amazing to find just like a st like a crystal or a stone just like yeah and now I mean I have like I so um ones that I collect out in from nature like for instance well, I have a whole bunch of different ones of these but so you see these like holes this one isn't probably like the best example because I have some that are like small that just has a hole all the way straight through where you can like look through it like that and they're called um they're called hag stones and you find them kind of by um creek and and water and it's the water that is just basically washed away until there's like a a hole through it and um the hag stone is believed to be very protective and um and then if you want to be you know really like woo and magical and all of that good stuff then they say you know if you take it and you like look through it then you can see into the fairy realm so there you go it's called a hag stone so I've found a lot of those out in nature and I love them and I do collect them. Crystal in the mountains, I would love that. And that's probably, yeah, if you find a mountain nature, you're lucky. Um, so, well, I should probably now get off. I've been on for quite a while. And thank you about these earrings. I, I'm going to have to find the artist because she creates, she's an artist on uh, Instagram and does really cool earrings and I should know her name and I don't. Um, sapphire birthstone. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what the birthstones, all the birthstones are. Sorry. 
You're welcome. I'm glad you caught me today too. Thanks for being on here with me. And um, I drew those earrings when I was a Are you the creator of uh, TikTok? Oh, well, I can't see. Um, anyways, <laughs> And my phone's going. My phone's about ready to die. Um, all right. So, anyways, thank you guys for being on here and love ya. And uh, I, I think I'll let's see. I, I should be back on this week um, at some point. So, I'm not exactly for sure what day. But um, thanks so much, and I love ya. And um, I will see you guys soon. Have a good day.